Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And Jamie. Thanks for joining us. And uh, what's on store for today? Uh, this is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I was laughing when you were reading it to me. Um, so the Natural Society um, dot com, I guess, yeah. um, posted an article called "Officials Declare Eating Healthy a Mental Disorder." I think that is the most hilarious thing. I, when you started reading this article to me, I just I couldn't believe that they're now calling eating healthy a mental disorder. But eating crap, eating bad, being obese, not taking care of yourself is not a mental disorder. It's not a mental disorder. No, no, that's normal. That's normal. It's, it's normal. because of the way our society has created, and I want to say almost a monster, in allowing people to eat what they want, do what they want, not take care of themselves or their body, right. and it's just okay. It's just okay. But it's, just... it's an eating disorder if you are eating healthy. It's so, it's... so don't eat healthy. Don't eat apples, bananas, smoothies, fruit, vegetables. Go ahead and eat high fructose corn syrup, <laughs> Um, what else in there? Um, French fries. French fries. Chicken McNuggets. Fried food. Uh, chicken McNuggets. Fast food. Big Macs. Pizza Hut. See, here's, all of that kind of here's stuff. Here's the thing. When you eat five bananas, they, they, they think that you're an extremist, right? But 20 pieces, 20 piece chicken McNuggets is fine. Oh, for $1.99. It's, it's totally it's fine. Totally fine. Or two Big Macs are totally fine, but five bananas aren't. Five apples aren't fine. And people have looked at us over the years when they see what like our kids eat when they'll Justin will eat like four or five apples and or just, you know, tons and tons. I remember when Justin was like, what, seven, eight years old? Even even maybe no, two earlier, years ago. I think, remember yeah. the bowls of, uh, of blueberries? blueberries? We used to call him Blueberry Boy, because he used to take these massive bowls of blueberries and we had frozen wild blueberries here and he's just bowl after bowl just eat blueberries i actually laughed this morning i made him a blueberry smoothie and he hasn't had a blueberry smoothie in a while and i asked him do you remember when you used to eat tons of blueberries <laughs> so but but people used to be like why is he eating all those blueberries or ooh, or like that's not healthy all those bananas all that fruit all that sugar but yet all that it's like people but people don't question they don't question convenience. They don't question no. the obvious. They don't. They don't question. They just look at you like you're some kind of freak, and it dry. And even family members. That's that's one of the reasons why some people are very um, apprehensive about becoming vegetarian, vegan, becoming it's of eating what healthy. Other people think. And it's the family members that give us the worst problems. I mean, we had a terrible time with, around a lot of our family. Yes, you and know? we still do with some of our family. Um, some do, yes. Some do give us a hard time and don't understand why we eat the way that we eat. And you know what? Everybody has a choice in the way that they eat. So to call eating healthy a mental disorder is crazy. I wouldn't call somebody out there who's eating fried food and something. I wouldn't say that they have a mental disorder. We're labeling things that don't need to be labeled. This is something that doesn't need to be It does labeled. not need a label. I mean, eating healthy should just be part of our routine. It... Back in the olden days, right? They ate healthy. They didn't have the process. They didn't right. have what we have today. Go, go ahead and read the article, just 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 for laughs. Um, could we all really be mentally ill? Question mark. In an attempt to curb the mass rush for food change and reform, psychiatry has green lighted a public relations push to spread awareness about the new buzzword, uh, orthorexia nervosa defined as a pathological obsession for biologically pure and healthy nutrition. In other words, experts are moving towards saying that our demand for nutrient-dense, healthful food is a mental disorder that must be treated. CNN, Fast Company, Popular Science, and other top outlets have all begun to, have all began to trumpet the talking points on cue relatively recently. It, this is just... I mean, this is, this is absurd. This is just like... Uh, <sighs> so anorexia nervosa is a label designated to those who are concerned about eating healthy, characterized by disordered, disordered eating fueled by a desire for clean or healthy foods. Those diagnosed with the condition are overly preoccupied with the nutritional makeup of what they eat. I mean, shouldn't we all be concerned about what we're putting into our bodies? What you put
put in is what you're gonna get out. You are you are what you eat is like one of the oldest sayings out there. I, I would actually really be interested in where this article came from. Well, it probably is backed by the pharmaceutical companies. It's probably backed food by, by the food manufacturers, like I don't know, the grocery GMO, store, GMO, right? You know, like. I, I, Whatever it might be, I mean. Right, the grocery manufacturers, the fast food processors, the the. I mean, I mean, basically, if they can give you a drug for it, the pharmaceutical companies are going to label it, right? So they they create, they they don't create a condition. Pharmaceutical companies don't create a condition unless they really have a a cure or not even a cure, but a a pill for it, some kind of some kind of drug for it. So what they do is they create. If they can create the pill, they'll create the problem. Well, of course. So there's no diagnosis for this. There's no diagnosis for this at all. This is this is a total line of BS. You're attacking people that and you're you're and you're further outcasting and attacking people well, that are actually making a conscious to, decision. Well, because they want you to feel bad. So now they're trying to make you feel like you have a problem. Right. Because you want to eat healthy. So now people who go to their doctor, you know, that 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 are concerned about what they eat and this and your doctor can say, you know what? There's actually a condition for this. We can actually label you. And under Obamacare, once you get a label, you they have to follow that protocol. Once you get a number, you get a label. That that, that disease, that 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 it's issue, um, that problem has a specific protocol that has to be followed. So now you're just this is this is a number. This is basically you go in, you get diagnosed, you're a number, that you do X Y Z. So you have to give X Y Z drugs for problem X Y Z. It's like it's like a mechanic in a car. Oh. The car says it runs on synthetic oil, so it's going to get synthetic oil no matter what, right? Next, they're going to come up with a disorder for people who want to exercise and run and take care of themselves. I mean, what's next? What is next in all of this? That is insane. That's crazy to label people because they, they want, want to eat. eat healthy. Right. I mean, healthy foods is what began years ago, many, many, many years ago. I mean, that's what they ate out in the wild. That's what people ate. They foraged. They went out and ate healthy. But even, but even like our grandparents didn't have a lot no, of this none process. Of the processed well, a lot, foods. Not, a lot of this processed food wasn't around. All these fillers weren't around. There were some things that were around. But I mean, food is, people don't realize. Food has drastically changed in the last 20 years. Because you have some people say, oh, I've been eating this stuff my whole life. No, you have not been eating genetically modified milk. You've not been eating, you know, hormone pumped no, eggs and all these chickens. You've not been eating this arsenic laced chicken. You've not been eating all this stuff your whole life. It's only been the last 20 years. Now, the issues are in humans, you. It takes, you know, to, for, to, to, for people to, to express disease, it takes many years. Like cancers can take 10, 20, 30, 40 years. It can take a whole nother generation. Well, when you live to be 80 years old, you don't see the effects of what you're doing right away. Right. So when they do laboratory tests on rats, because rats regenerate, they, they, you quicker know, they're, they're much things, quicker. Right? They're much, much quicker. So they can see over generations in a matter of a couple months the effects of these things. So that's why they use laboratory rats right. and stuff like that for experiments, because that's they couldn't do it on, well, even though they do experiment on us. We don't know the effects because we just, it, they're too short of studies. It, this, this, all this technology, food technology, genetically modified foods, the, the, the chemicals they spray, the food, the chemicals they use in our foods, the fillers, it's all too new to say, right. it's not like you're, it's not like you, when you eat something, you're going to wake up tomorrow with six rows of teeth, right? No, if you did takes, that, if you did you'd that, stop eating you'd it. stop doing what you were doing the right. other day. If you woke up and you gained 15 pounds the next day and then 15 pounds the next door, you can say, wow, that food makes me fat. fat. Right, but no, it's a pound here, a pound there. It's you know a couple points in your cholesterol here. It's this and that. Sure, over a month you can do some damage to your body if you totally abuse it. But people don't get people don't see the relationship with what they're putting in their mouth to what's happening in their body, and right. they think that oh, it must be something else. Oh, I have oh, it's the gen environment. It's genetics. genetics. It's genetics yeah. is the big thing that that is like people play the genetics card, or the doctors play the genetic cards, the pharmaceutical plays it because that's what they're taught. Oh, it's in your genes. It's in your genes. And we a have lot a pill of people don't. It. A lot of um, of you know people and society they don't even know. You know they don't know that they're really doing that, telling you that something is, is wrong because they don't understand it themselves. They've never done the research enough to understand like doctors and, you know, nurses and things like that. They don't, they just follow what's been told to well, them. Right. Now here's a case like, like I've been telling my father, you know, he needs more fruit, you need more fruit. And he keeps telling me, I can't, I can't handle all that sugar. I can't do it. I can't eat five bananas like you do. Marcus. And I can't have that much water. 
right? Well, that's a whole other thing. I know, but but, but he says I can't I can't handle the I can't handle three bananas like you two bananas all that sugar. So when I went to their house the other day, yeah. what's in their refrigerator? There was coke. In their <laughs> there was soda. There was soda in their refrigerator. I'm like, you can't handle. But well, but he needed it when he was sick. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what my mom said. He needed it when he was sick because he wasn't feeling well. It was something to soothe him. I'm like, soda so when you're sick? You don't even need soda when you're healthy. It's just like, really? But yet, he's so afraid and he gives me so many excuses on why he can't eat more fruit and how the sugars are bad. And But yet, he turns around and, and the soda was like, there was that much left in it. So he drank almost a full two liter of soda. Then he had another procedure done the other day where my mom said, oh, he needed ice cream to soothe his throat. Ice cream? <laughs> you can't handle eating two bananas, three bananas, but you're gonna eat ice cream? And it's just, it's like, it's like, and my mom. It's a mental, it's mentally what they think is going to soothe them and make them feel better. Right, which should be a disorder. Right. <laughs> so here's the thing. My mom is around this all the time because she listens to me talk all the time. And she's, she's heard us talk. She sees us eat. Should we give her food. We've done this for 14 years with her, right? And uh, my yeah. dad. But yet something just happens where. You're only smart until you're stupid. And they don't want to pay attention to what you say at that point, right? They no. just tune it out. They just they know it's wrong. And you know what? For years, I will say, for years, I used to fight against you. In terms it wasn't of, for long. Not it was really two long. Two years, but, maybe. But years ago, I wasn't really where I am now. And now I go out, you know, to go to the mall where, you know, a long time ago I would have snuck french fries or snuck something, you know, because I wanted it. And but you really like, weren't sneaking. I wasn't really sneaking, but I You would just eat I it without me there, without you there. Not in my presence because right. you knew if if you if you said if you ate it in front of me, I would have said, "Well, I think this is a better option." Right. And so to me, it was like, "All right, I'm going to eat it now while he's not around and blah blah." But now I go somewhere and I'm like, "I don't want to put that in my body." My mind has changed so much that even if I'm going to eat something bad, at least it's coming from a restaurant that's making it, or it's not a processed food. It's a right, you know, right, right. So, but to me, to go to a fast food chain or to a just to grab something to grab something isn't worth it to me. It's what I'm putting into my body that makes a difference. Exactly. And I've seen the difference because I know what I put in is what I'm going to get back out. Yep. So awesome. So we are all officially wackos. We're yep. all officially mental nutcases. Well, everybody is. We are. Me anyway. But Jamie, <laughs> we are off of our rockers. We, we, are, are, we are way we out. We have a mental disorder <laughs> <We> called <laughs> orthorexia nervosa. So next time you meet me, uh, you're going to say, what is my name? I'm going to say orthorexia nervosa. nervosa. <laughs> I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. And I'm Jamie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, leave your comments. Uh, leave your comments uh, below in this video. I'd like to see some uh, interesting comments. This is a uh, an interesting, Article controversial, controversial topic. Yes. <laughs>